Hi, I'm Stephen from Shoeshine UK, and I'm here today to show you how to take care of your leather boots. Okay. I'm just about to show you how to take care of your leather uh, shoes. This is just a, a standard tan pair of Chelsea boots, um, and we're about to get started. I'm going to use uh, a cleaner on them, firstly. Then we're going to take off any dirt and scuffs from the leather. And this is to remove all your scuffs, which you could see on the toe cap. And it also cleans them, ready for polishing. If you're looking to buy this product, um, go on to uh, Google and search for um, Universal Leather Cleaner. I'm just going to give that a couple of seconds to dry. So now we're going to add some moisture to the leather. So I use um, a beeswax cream to begin with. I add, the, I add my products by hand, uh, which is quite unique, but you can equally apply them by cloth if you prefer. And we'll just rub the, rub the cream into the leather. Just add little bits at a time. And you can immediately see that the leather's coming back to life. And it's very important to do this uh, before you polish. So um, you have a good base to work on. You can already see the difference in the two pairs. And that's just with a beeswax cream added. So the next one is a mink oil um, based cream and this is just to add to the beeswax we've already put on. Uh, so once again um, you can get this online uh, if you just look for mink oil leather creams. Um, and my one's called Renova Renovateur, so a bit posh. So once again, put this on the toe cap. Always start from the toe, which is the harder area, and bring it upwards into the vamp, which is the middle section, and the rest of the shoe. And you can already see the levers coming back to life, and that's without any polishing whatsoever. So this is all down to nourishing the leather. Again, we look at the two side by side, and you can see the big difference uh, between the two. If anyone is, you know, in desperate need before they go out, um, all they've got to do is rub a bit of cream in their shoes. It's not; it doesn't have to be this massive thing uh, where you sit down, and put out the newspaper, and do the shoes like like you imagine. Um, there's much more simpler ways that you can just bring your shoe back to new. So that's the general shoe care routine you can use to keep uh, your shoes uh, looking good. Um, but if you want to take it further, I'm about to show you how to polish your shoes and bring them up ready for the, to hit the town. So, um, we're about to go on with um, a light brown wax. Now the reason I'm going on with light brown and not tan is because I just want to bring out a little bit of burnishing, etc. Um, and you'll see the natural colour of the leather is more of a sort of dark tan, mid-brown naturally, uh, which has been bought out by the cream. So what we do, this is my wax, um, make sure you use a brush that you've used on brown previously and not black. Touch the brush, we go on the shoe and it's literally um, sort of equal all over. Start from the toe, stretch upwards. Like this. And hit the back. Then, I personally use my bare hands to apply the wax. The reason I do this is because it penetrates the leather. Also, the heat from the hand uh, opens the pores of the leather, enabling the wax to go deeper into the leather to get a better shine. 
you concentrate on the hard areas of the shoe, which is the toe and the heel. And then you go in the rest of the shoe a lot lighter. So then what, you, what you're doing is you're not going to have cracking in these areas when you bend your foot because you're putting less wax there. However, you're still going to get a nice shine because you're building up on the toe and then blending it in to those areas where, that you don't want to crack. Again, so I'm using a slightly thicker wax to get a, a base coat on the shoes. And then I'll be moving on to a different type of wax after the base coat's been applied. Now it's a lot finer and can help bring up a better shine. I'm going to get a darker brown wax to match the sole and we are just going to run around to darken that. Now the stitching in here is white so you've got to be very careful. Usually what I do I'd use a toothbrush and I'd run around that area with a darker wax. However because it's um, a lighter um, like lighter stitching it's not, not a good idea obviously. So I'll be going around there just with a bare, bare toothbrush just to get out any dust. I'm going to go on slightly with a little bit of darker wax on the toe because you can see it's slightly burnished. So I just want to just get a little burnish there because it, they were quite scuffed when we started and it'll just be good to get that back. Repeat that process around the back of the shoe. Just up here, where you've got a little bit of scuffing. And then that is your base coat applied. So now, if we compare the two, we now have um, a shoe that has had the base coat of wax applied. We're about to go on with high shine in the shoe, which uh, sounds a lot more difficult than what it is, to be honest. Um, similar process to when we added the base coats. Um, lots of small layers, build them up, concentrate on the toe, heels, um, whilst putting little bits in the areas that are likely to crack. So obviously we don't want any cracking. Um, I'm now using a good wax. It's a thinner wax um, made for really doing a high shine on the leather. For a better application, I slightly melt the wax. And this allows it to be much easier applied. So once again, little touch, start on the toe cap. the toe and the heel. They are the most important areas to bring out a shine. You can already see the difference. Be careful not to over polish in this area which is called the vamp um, because once you bend your foot um, it can crack off. I'm using uh, a light brown wax to add a bit of depth to this colour. Um, however, if you haven't got the right match, um, you can literally, um, on, the, on this particular pair, go for a tan or a neutral, um, any, any, any colour that's lighter than what the actual shoe is, because um, if you go darker, like with a dark brown, you could um, make it sort of not look very good, to be honest. Once again, an easy way to polish your shoes um, if you put your hand in the shoe and use this hand to polish and swivel, turn it round, do the back again, do the back and then back to the front. Now if you're using a cloth, it's a similar process. Um, personally, 
I wouldn't use a brush because I don't think when you use a brush it gets deep enough into the leather and I don't think you're going to get a great shine or enough penetration and you're not going to get that high shine. So if you're brave by hand or you can use a cloth. So I'm about to go with one of my little um, niche things. Um, I use a little bit of neutral at the end, uh, slightly more protection I always found for the leather. So we always put that on as the final base. Bring it round sides, on the heel, on the front. Done. So now the next step will be buffing them. So you can see inside, loose threading. Now a lot of people cut these and the problem is they come straight back if you cut them. So they're going to burn them down and what that does is seals them and it stops your shoe falling to pieces. So you'll have this problem on any any shoes. Um, stitching, once you start wearing them, always comes loose. So you're always going to find on any pair of shoes that um, you'll have loose threading. And it's a simple tip is literally just to burn them off. We're going to buff them now. Ladies stockings, uh, 40 denier. Probably the best buffing material you can find. Uh, fold it once. Fold it twice, fold it three times, make sure it's flat and it's literally light hits on the shoe. Finally, I used the palm of my hand. Obviously, if you don't feel comfortable doing this because you feel you might smudge your shine, then don't try it because they already look very shiny. However, uh, to bring it up that little bit shinier, make sure your palm is 100% clean of moisture or sweat. Then get the middle of your palm and lightly go over the leather. And what that does is it just makes that shine get a little bit shinier. And there we have it, our before and after 